Hi guys, welcome back to Yorkshire Car Restorations. Today we're going to go through the Datsun 260Z. We purchased this car about three months ago before we started the channel. Um, so what we're going to do today, we're going to run through the car as it is at the moment, what we've done to it, because we have done a little bit to this car before, like I say, before we got the channel, um, and what parts we've bought for it. So let's get to it. we bought this car was um, it was sold to us as not a bad project um, and it is a true Datsun 260Z um, but I kind of trusted the guy that sold it me that said it was in good order um, but it does need a lot of work to it uh, it's not out of his capabilities and it's not going to make for a bad car it's just going to make for a bit more of an exciting adventure um, the biggest thing he never told us about it was the floor pans and they are terrible, they are really bad. We've got holes all down here. Uh, this actual floor pan here, all the way right back to here, all needs replacing right back and it literally goes all the way back here, right up to here. Luckily, the good thing about it is the inner sills and the transmission tunnel the bulkhead and the back part of the car from here is absolutely solid 
Um, all that's really suffered on this car structurally is the floor pans, the rails that are on it, and the front end of the car, and all the body panels. The four floor pans were a bit of a surprise. So what we have done, uh, down away, we'll next to the other Datsun, we'll just pop over here. Uh, we bought these just because we can't get out of any canals. Um, I think this is the floor pan for the Datsun 260Z, but I think this is a floor pan for a 240. Now, it's not going to worry us because we're just going to use this basic structure. We're going to refabricate in the cell, so that's going to be no biggie. We've also got the floor pan rails. Basically, these run at the back here just to strengthen the floor section out. This panel here, uh, this is the light, the side of the light pod, uh, the side of the front chassis rail and the bottom of the engine bay. Now, we'll show you that now. We've got no side of the chassis rail, but for all this section we're rusted, uh, so we'll cut that out. And this was absolutely, it was rusted and accident damaged actually, so it's all crumpled in. It had a little bit of a clump on this corner. So I've made this out of one section we bought, we've made bits down here, and we've made all this, you, know, you can see this, is brand new. And we've taken the original captive um, bolt off of the original arm, which we've cut off of the side here. And this is basically, it goes in there like that somewhere. Right, as you can see, all this structure had been slightly accident damaged. It had not touched the inside, just the outside. And somebody has welded it all up. Now, I've been in here, I've, I've cleaned it up a little bit to see what we're dealing with. This chassis leg does need a little bit of repair down here as well. Um, we've got this and we've also got a little bit on the bottom where the engine mounts as well but again that's not a problem that's just metal we need to cut out and put back in there at the moment all we have is this front section missing these inners uh, the floor pans need replacing um, but the back end is superb everything else like the roof is solid this scuttle panel just needs a bit of repair here stripping down, uh, priming, repainting, uh, but she's good, yeah, the back end's absolutely fantastic. Apart from the rear wheel arches. Now let me move all this out of the way. These door bottoms do need repair. I can see filler here and it doesn't feel like it's the right shape. Um, it all feels a little bit wobbly but not rust wobbly, so that's going to be filler. I think there's some around here as well. But the basic structure of the door, the bottom, uh, inside there, underneath this lip, is good. So we're happy with these doors. Now these rear arches <laughs> kind of look okay. It looks like they just need a little bit of work. But if you imagine that there that I've got hold of, all the way around there, is filler. All that is filler, every bit of it right back here, all the way up here, right round there, right up to about there, we think. But, we have bought some really bad pressed, but decent metal rear arches. This is the front scuttle panel for connecting all the, uh, uh, the bonnet stay on and everything. And, and we've got just about every single repair panel that we do need for this. Um, all we need to do is, after as other projects done, we crack straight on with this one. Um, this was a mess when we bought it. Basically, this goes here. On top of that. This goes here. We've 
We've then got somewhere to mount our uh, bonnet hinges, uh, Anders radiator and everything. Um, and it also completes these, these here on this side were all mashed up. So I've got them, which is your, um, all your mount points and everything for your wiring harness, believe it or not. We were thinking about buying another bonnet, but I think I can panel beat that, repair the front edge. The inner structure is not too bad, so I think that bonnet will go again. Um, but that means the front end, apart from two chassis repairs, there, there, three set chassis repairs, and on the bottom of this side, the front is complete. Oh, and this here. Now, got another one. Uh, this is actually a, a new old stock one, so this is this is actually brand new, even though it's rusty. Um, that needs to be welded in there. Uh, once we've got all the rest of the parts in. We've then got a good structure on the front end and everything. That with the bonnet makes all the front good. Right, the engine, it's a, it's a, it's a single overhead cam, it's a Nissan engine. Um, it's a straight line six. That means there's six cylinders in a straight line. No V formation, no nothing like that. And one single overhead cam uh, to turn it. Um, I mean, this, this engine, it's a 2.6 L26 engine. Um, this is the original engine for this car as well. Um, and we do believe it was uh, reconditioned. We don't know to what extent because it's like it's been painted by hand. Um, so we, we don't know what extent it's been restored or reconditioned. Um, but it was halfway through when it was abandoned because of the bodywork. Uh, now we do, we also do believe that this car was some kind of race or drift car at some point, due to the fact that um, a lot of people have told us and uh, somebody's not worried about the bodywork. They've kind of like protected it. I think they've covered it in dinner cloth and kind of really vaguely filled some dints, but um, uh, it's just basically been dinner cloth all over. Um, the engine one, the, this is, I mean, this, all this here, the it's just lightly bolted on. It's not. It's not even. I have to get some bolts to um, try and keep it on as well. Um, but it's twin SUs. Um, it's the old style SUs as well, which is the, um, the reservoirs on the bottom of it. Um, you've got uh, you've got a mechanical fuel pump in this as well. Uh, so it'll more than likely still work as long as the diaphragm's good in there. Um, but engine-wise, they're a fairly basic engine. There's no fancy electronics. Um, it's just a distributor, um, starter motor, alternator, bolted onto a big block with some carburetor, carburation. That's about it. No fancy computers or anything, which is good. As you can see, underneath all this scruff, there's more scruff. But, as you can see again, the structure it's flaky, but solid. Most of this came with the car. We're going to have a rummage because it's probably the first time that I've actually had a look at what's in here due to being so busy. The good thing is, we've got the original wiper arms. Obviously the air cleaner box, um, which again, that'll go again, but we've painted the original colour. And centre console with the choke, we've got the choke. And we've got the original front grille. Now, I think we're going to use this again. It, it does look to be in good order, if not a couple of 12 hours just trying to making it go straight one again. I did buy these um, because they were a bargain on eBay. Get that. Brand new, old stock. Still, even got the little sticky tape on to keep them good. Two dormers, one's missing a bottom. But they're actually in relatively good condition if I can find the, the bottom of this one. We've got a max power filter. I don't think it's 
door handles. I think that's about it. That's all we're putting in. That's a that's a cover for the back of the headlights. And a spoon. Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, leave us a like. Make sure you click that subscribe button and that notification button. Um, make sure you join us on Instagram as well at Yorkshire Car Restorations where you'll get small sneak previews and insights into our projects that we're doing and projects that are coming up. I'll also let you know eventually when we get around to the Datsun 260Z and the Datsun 280ZX. Uh, but for now, catch you later. Thank you.